In this video, we will talk about Power Apps License as the first lesson in Module 7 Power Apps Administration. Let's start with the lesson outlines. In this lesson, we will have an overview about the Power Apps License. After that, we will list the Power Apps License that you can use, including the free license, the trial, and the community plan. And then we will explore the purchased license Power Apps per app plan and the Power Apps per user plan. It is important to know about the license in Power Apps as licensing is the first control gate to allowing access to Power Apps components. Power Apps is licensed in two ways. The first way is a standalone license that will give you a full capabilities of the platform and this license is supported on per user and per user per plan. Both are fully featured. The second way is license through Office 365 and Dynamics 365 different licenses, and this will give you limited power apps capabilities. According to license guide in August 2010, limited power apps use rights are included with select Office 365 licenses. And according to Dynamics 365 licenses, limited power apps use rights are included within the same environment as the licensed Dynamics 365 applications. The using of Power Apps capabilities that included with Dynamics 365 licenses must be only within the context of the licensed Dynamics, and the specific use rights vary by Dynamics 365 license type. So from that we will conclude that Power Apps service can only be accessed if you have a Power Apps license. Even if gift users want to access Power Apps, they must have a Power Apps license assigned through one of the following tenants. The tenant hosting the app that you will share with the guest user or the home tenant of the guest user. Besides that, the guest user must have the same license that's required for non-guests to run the app. There are two types of Power Apps license. One is free and the other you must purchase it. The free licenses are free trial and the free community plan. The other license is the purchased license that's supported on per user plan and the per app plan. Now we will discuss each license in detail to know how to use and how much does it cost and what will it provide to you. Starting with the free trial plan, from its name it is completely free. Power Apps Trial Plan gives you Power Apps Plan 2 for 30 days that will give you the access to the different Power Apps features. After 30 days, it will expire. It only a temporary access to Power Apps feature. These features are like extend the capabilities of Office 365, such as SharePoint Online and Excel and Team and more. And you can create and run different apps. Also, you can create workflows with Power Automate and Manage Environment and Common Data Service and the other features that provided by Power Apps. After 30 days, it will expire. Once your trial expires, you can purchase a plan. If you are already using Power Apps with Office 365 or Dynamics 365, then the free trial plan is the right plan to try out the premium functionalities of Power Apps, which are available with Power Apps per user plan. The second type of free plan is Power Apps Community Plan. The Power Apps Community Plan is completely free and provides you with a free development environment that never expire. And it gives you access to Power Apps Premium functionalities, common data service, and Power Automate for individual use only. You can use the Community Plan for learning and building your skills on Power Apps and the common data service and the Power Automate. In Community Plan, you can share apps or flows or connections or any of the other features with any other users of your tenant. You also can add any other users as an environment admin or maker. And you can not add any user to the database role from the admin center. You have to be aware in using Community Plan. Because the Community Plan has limited capacity, as it is for individual use only, not for a team. You will have 750 flow runs per month, and it will give you 200 megabytes of database size and 2 giga file storage. If you hit the capacity limits, you can purchase one of Power Apps plans. 
This is community plan. Then who can use the community plan? Everyone with a work email can sign up for the community plan. Even if you are an existing user of Power Apps with Office 365 or Dynamics 365, you can also create an environment for individual use. And the capacity of your individual environment, if you use it or not, it doesn't contribute to your company's overall quota. So the community plan is separated from your company's environment. These are the two plans that you can find in the free plan. The free trial that gives you 30 days and the community plan for individual use only. Let's go to discuss the different purchase plan for Power Apps. Starting with Power Apps per app plan. Power Apps per app plan allows organization to get started with the platform at lower entry point. And according to the pricing page, the Power Apps per app plan costs $10 per user per app per month. Power Apps per App Plan allows individual users to run to custom application. It can be Canvas or Model or both, and access one custom portal based on the full capabilities of Power Apps. Note that the embedded Canvas apps with a model-driven app will not count towards the two app limits. It counts one app. The Power Apps per App Plan provides full capabilities of Power Apps, such as connecting to your data. You can connect to your data source using standard connectors and premium connectors and on-premises data gateway and custom connectors. And it stores and manages data. So you can utilize common data service and create and access custom entities, including the complex entities. And you will have read-only access to Dynamics 365 restricted entities. And also in Power Apps, Power App Plan provides you with full capabilities of executing flows. This plan, like each plan, has capacity. Besides the common data service capabilities, Power Apps Super App Plan capacity will give you 50 mega for common data service database and 400 mega for common data service file storage and 1000 ABI request limit. This is the first purchased plan, Power Apps Super App Plan. The second type is Power Apps Super User Plan. Power Apps per user plan costs you $40 per user per month, according to the license guide in August 2020. Power Apps per user plans allows licensed users to run unlimited custom applications based on the full capabilities of Power Apps. You can run unlimited applications both Canvas and model driven, and unlimited access to custom portals. Power Apps per user plan provide full capabilities of Power Apps that enable you to connect to your data using the standard connectors and the premium connectors and the custom connectors and using on-premises data gateway if your data isn't in the cloud. You can store and manage data and you can utilize common data service and create and access custom entities and also you will have read-only access to Dynamics 365 restricted entities and it provides full capabilities to execute flows and it allows power automates use rights with an app context and the classic common data service non real time and real time workflow the power app super app plan capacity will give you 250 mega for common data service database and 2 giga for common data service file storage and 5000 abi request limit these are the different power apps plans that provided by power apps in this lesson, we have learned that the Power Apps license is the first gateway to access Power Apps, and we discussed the different standalone Power Apps license that consist of the free plans and the purchased plans. Thanks.